Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden 5. Alright, before we head out here, a couple of things I want to go over. First of all, skills. Uh, basically, well, there's, when you go into skills here, you can equip them, you can remove them, you can move skill points, and you can use an equipped skill. What does that mean? Well, we'll get into that in a second. But first of all, I actually want to change one particular skill, and just to, uh, I figured I might as well show these off while I'm going there. Uh, so basically what happens is that you got these characters have these skills and you can train them to higher levels then the higher the, lo the higher the ranking they are um, the more powerful they are. So in this case obviously the letters on the left there they indicate the, uh, the, the ranking of that or the level of that uh, skill. And you can equip two of them at a time. Um, the exception of one particular situation, but that is not for a very long time. Um, so basically, yeah, so basically you got attack and agility on Frey here. Um, and actually, these skills actually each do something different. So obviously, you got stamina here, increases your max HP. Uh, attack increases your attack power. Defense does multiple things. It increases your physical defense, but it also increases the chance that you'll be able to parry or sh uh, you know, uh, shield yourself or, you know, weapon defense uh, kind of thing. So basically, uh, block and attack really it increases the uh, the chances that you'll actually do that and you won't take any damage technique increases your accuracy uh, basically just you know just more chance of actually hitting the enemy and you got counter and thrust there so basically that just means anytime somebody attacks you um, whether it connects or not you actually have a chance of actually countering it so it'll actually your character will actually strike back at that in the same turn kind of thing um, Vitality is critical hit and charge percent plus. That charge percent only applies to George because he's the only one that can do that. So, yeah. Um, agility increases evasion and speed and consecutive and continuous attack. And that is probably one of the most abil most useful uh, stats or uh, abilities in the game. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, um, magic plus. Uh, yeah, magic increases your magic power, magic defense increases your magic defense and your ability to resist um, spells. Um, incantation, basically just faster, you know, cast your spells faster. And then sort of magic, yeah, I don't really use that, so yeah. Alright, uh, so the one I actually want to change, actually you know, first, before I get to there, George here, he's got this unique ability that you can't change called Combat Teacher. And what that is, it's just basically, well first, before we get into that, yeah, uh, Sileads has one as well called Long Throw. That basically uh, just, oh yeah, row attack percent for percentage for boomerang weapons. It just basically means there's a random chance that, it'll, that this will trigger and it'll actually cause her attack to actually hit an entire row rather than just one enemy. Um, and Magic here, I actually want to change this because her magic probably won't be all that useful for a little while. So I'm actually going to put her on a bit more useful ability. I'm going to give her a bit more damage here. And there we go. Alright, so we're going into Combat Teacher. It's rank C. Uh, basically, that's what this use comes in. Uh, there's some enemies that you can have Combat Teacher that you can actually train skills in the field anywhere you are as long as they are in the party. Um, basically, yeah, using skill points to train them up kind of thing. So that is probably one of the most useful abilities and useful skills in the game. And yeah, you can actually train up Sileys along through as well. The only way you can actually upgrade his... Uh, uh, combat uh, teacher ability is by gaining certain um, books, or I guess uh, certain books or certain items that you get throughout the game in treasure chests, kind of thing, and it automatically does it for you. So, all right, uh, that's that. And yeah, one more thing: formations. These things are very useful. Uh, we've only got the one formation; it's a standard one, and yeah, and you can actually change the uh, position. Uh, basically. When it you've got these letters, the RNG, it's not random number gen or generator, it's actually range. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you've got the, f the grid there with the, the four rows, and you've got the four characters here with the, the M, the S, and the L. There's three different ranges. There, there's short range, there's medium range, and there's long range. Guess which letter corresponds to which. <laughs> um, so basically, short range, usually you want to keep them in the front two rows. Uh, medium is usually the second and the third row, and long range is usually the third and the, and the, the, third and the fourth row uh, there. Long range can technically be used anywhere really because they're usually ranged weapons, uh, but usually their defense isn't that great, so it's usually best just to keep them in the back. Uh, short range, again, um, these things actually are rather important. Uh, if you take if you take George and say you put him put him in Silead situation here, uh, his attack 
his attack accuracy actually starts to drop, so he becomes less effective. So really, you want to keep them in their optimal position. So, uh, same thing with uh, Frey and Leon. If you were to move them into the very front, if we had a uh, uh, formation that can do that. If we move them up there, their ability to, you know, their accuracy would drop, and again, if they we move them to the very back, then again, their attack would drop off as well. So, yeah, that's how that works. And, uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Alright, let's uh, go find Toma and hopefully rescue him from the clutches of death. But there is a couple of treasures, there are a couple of enemies we can run into, so, well, Lord willing, we'll be able to find them. All right, here's the first one, Mad Dog. All right, 150 hit points. This could be rather interesting. Uh, so before we get into the actual battle itself, uh, well, we've got uh, the setup here. Fight is just basically manually enter commands for each each character. Formation. Each formation has a form skill, except for one of them. But anyways. Um, Basically, all it is, each one has their own special ability that every person in the in the party participates in, kind of thing. In this case, this one restores a little HP to all allies. Uh, some of them actually have double effects. Like, uh, there's, I think there's one we'll be getting later that actually increases your increases your physical defense for one round, but it also allows that par the your party to attack in the same round, kind of thing. So that's very useful. Uh, believe me, we'll be using these quite a bit. Uh, rearrange, you can actually change your formation in battle as well, which is kind of cool as well. In case you uh, forget to do it on battle screen and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. Retreat, basically what you think it is, it's just basically you try to run. Um, this actually can change to release at uh, higher levels. Uh, when, you're, when your party's level reaches a certain threshold over uh, the enemy you're facing, You'll, the enemy or enemies you're facing, you'll actually get an option to release, so basically it's just letting them go rather than trying to run away kind of thing. So, yeah. A retreat, it's random whether it happens or not kind of thing. It's just basically any any, ran, any any run command in a Final Fantasy kind of thing. Bribe, it basically allows you to bribe an enemy and they'll allow you to, you know, you bribe them with money and then you can escape from the battle kind of thing. Um, auto, it's just basically just everybody everybody attacks kind of thing. And it's just a quick way to go through it if you're not going to be doing anything special. But in this case, I do want to do something special. Let's uh, have... Uh, you got attack here, you got defend. Well, attack does what you think it does, defend does what you think it does. Item, uh, you can actually use items in your inventory here. However, if you... As long as you've got space there, you can actually take things out. If you want to use an item, you can take it out and you can equip it. Um, unfortunately, you lose that turn, though. So it's obviously it's much more efficient to actually equip it outside of battle. Um, Co-op attacks. In this case, our, the uh, Frey can actually team up with uh, Leon to do, as you can see at the bottom there, he can do a, at least 1.2 times damage to one enemy. So basically, these two, pe uh, the Frey and Leon, they combine their strength and then they... Uh, add 20% kind of thing, and they do it to one enemy. So you do more damage by teaming up with her. And as for uh, Psyleads, it does 0 0.5 time, uh, it does half damage, but it it does, it combines their strength, their, their damage, and then it chops it in half, and but it spreads it out to all enemies. So that actually becomes very useful as well. So in this case, let's use Swarm Protector on the Mad Dog, and George will probably one-shot it anyway, so, yeah. And just have, and uh, runes. We'll get into that later. Basically, the magic of the game. And yeah, George one shot at him. <laughs> so there we go. Alrighty, let's keep going. And here's the other new enemy. Yeah, you can start editing now. All right, so hairballs, 100 hit points each, and this should actually punch me over f level four, which is what I want. All right, so in this case, normally I would probably go with auto, but because there's three of them, I'm actually going to. Uh, should I? Yeah, let's use. Uh, actually, do I? I should be fine. Just use war royal power here to show that one off, and then just have Leon take that one out, and George take that one out. Hopefully this will kill that one. <laughs> oh, almost. Wow. Let's finish him off. And yes, 
You saw a double critical hit there, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, awesome. Reach my goal. Yay! Glory to God. Anyways. Alright, down here, you can barely see it. There's a treasure chest. And there's Leo. Yes, we're going after him. Medicine! Alright. And down here, we got some Mega Medicine. They restore... You only get three of them per stack, and they heal 200 hit points each. Alrighty, just uh, three more hairballs there, but yeah. Alrighty, before we continue on, I actually want to heal up here. And, and Leon will be fine. Alright. Whoa, there actually is water. Good point. <laughs> We've got to save him. Uh, Prince, wait! There he goes, rushing into things again. Damn. And if you chose the other option, you got would have gotten chastised by Silene, so... <laughs> Alright, our first boss battle of the game. Eh, more of a mini boss, but oh well, 170 hit points each, so this could be rather interesting. Um, so, just uh, go all out, I guess. Uh, there, and then have George take. Hopefully, he'll be able to take this one out on his own. Actually, do I want to. Well, let's change that up a bit. Let's uh, send these guys after the first one there. Now, you see they're sort of in a triangle formation there. It actually does have an effect on the battle, on their ability to hit, so, uh, yeah. Um, let's have the let's go after that one. Awesome, we one shot of them. One other thing you might notice about George. Sometimes he'll attack an enemy, he won't do any damage, but the enemy will die. <laughs> That's a good thing, obviously. But it's also because of a particular rune he has equipped, but again, we'll go into, uh, that later on. Alright, let's finish him off, and then there, and there. And there's that charge ability that George is uh, special with, and he just killed them both. Fantastic. And there we go. Levels! Yeah! Look at him level up. Awesome. How strange. I don't think I've ever heard of Ulse attacking people before. They sure looked awfully hungry. Are you all right? Hmm? Oh. Uh. <gasps> don't touch me! Uh. Hey, don't disrespect the prince! So you're the prince, huh? Grandpa said you were coming, but I didn't think you'd have the guts. Huh? Don't harm me! How dare the Queen's family even show their faces around here! Who do you think brought all this to Lord Lake anyway? Even those animals, they started attacking people because their forest is gone! They're hungry! Who knows how many people have been killed? And all of it... All of it! It's all the Queen's fault! <sighs> I 
I see. The people of that town still cling to that dried up land, living out their pathetic existence. I'm afraid all I can say is this. It serves them right. Your Majesty. Well, we don't really know that much, so we can't really say anything. Arstadt, have you gone mad? Those people are suffering. <laughs> I've hardly gone mad. Their offense was reprehensible, that's all. For generation after generation, the Rovere family of Lord Lake had been our most loyal subjects. That's why for many years I had complete faith in them. That's why I looked upon them with such favor. But on that fateful day two years ago, they betrayed me in the worst possible way. They banded together and began a savage uprising, plunging the nation into confusion. They ravaged the East Palace, and even stole the Dawn Rune. One of the three runes, the very symbols of the Falanen royal family. Such lawlessness, such treachery, such savage behavior. How could I possibly forgive them? And so I, Arshtar, the Queen of Falena, brought down my judgment and vengeance upon them by the will of Providence. With the power of this, the Sun Rune! So you see, no matter how much Lord Lake may continue to suffer, they got exactly what they deserved. With all due respect, Your Majesty, you have every right to be angry. But in Lord Lake, the damage extends to women, children, and the elderly, people who had nothing to do with the uprising. Yes, Mother, that's right. Silence! Do you dare tell me I was wrong? I do not make mistakes. The Sun Rune always lends its divine protection to the just. My path is the path of righteousness. My will is the will of heaven. To defy me is to defy the Sun. Your Majesty! <gasps> Barret. Your Majesty. Everyone is tired from their long journey. Perhaps we should adjourn for now and let them rest. Oh, oh. Yes, I suppose you're right. I will hear the rest of your report later. For now, you may go and get some rest. Tired, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> wow, George. So it sounds like we've got to go find our little sister and pay her a visit and let her know that we're home. But I guess we'll have to take care of that next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.